Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryan here and I got a CCNA video quick tip here for you on RIP and we're going to be looking at that on live Cisco routers in just a moment. I also want to invite you out to the full hour-long sample of my CCNA On Demand video boot camp that I've got hosted at Udemy.com. You can also access that from the main website. I'll put the URL in the YouTube video description box as well. That hour includes a 20-minute lab on OSPF Hub and Spoke Networks that I know you're going to want to take a look at. So you can go out there and watch the sample as often as you like. And if you like it, and I know you will, you can join the full-blown course and watch all the videos as often as you like until you pass the CCNA. You can also look at them after that, too. Now, there are some serious differences we know between RIP versions 1 and 2. In just a couple of them, we know that RIP version 1 broadcasts routing updates where version 2 multicasts them. We know that RIP version 1 doesn't support VLSM. RIP version 2 does. We know that RIP version 1 doesn't support packet update authentication, but RIP version 2 does. And you look at this and you think two things. First off, was there ever really a time where RIP version 1 was enough to get networking done with everything we have to deal with today? And secondly, why do we ever use RIP version 1 anymore, period? You know, what's the default? Because I would look at that and just say, well, you know, what's the default setting? Well, you know, version 2 is. This drove me crazy when I started studying for my CCNA, and I want to make sure that it does not have the same effect on you. I've just got a really simple RIP network already running. The topology doesn't even matter because it's this default I want you to see. And you can always go back to show IP protocols to spot this. And it's going to show you that you are indeed running RIP, and you see the default timers. And this odd little default right here, by default, a RIP-enabled interface is going to send version 1 updates, but it's going to accept versions 1 and 2. So it's not just that it you know, sends and receives version 1 or sends and receives version 2. It's actually a little bit of a mixed bag. So again, that default is to send version 1 updates and to accept version 1 and 2. And just as one more quick tip for you, a quick reminder on how you change that. If you wanted to change this router to say only accept and send uh, version 2, you just do that right under the RIP config, and it's the version command. That's all there is to it. I'll go ahead and change that right now, actually, and we'll hard code it to 1. We usually don't do that, especially in the real world, but you can see now it took effect immediately. No reboot is needed. Nothing else is needed. That changed it to send version 1, receive version 1, and if I wanted to then put it to version 2, you just simply use the version 2 command, and that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching today's CCNA Quick Tip video. Come out and see me on Twitter, YouTube, our blog, Facebook, and anywhere else you can find me, and I'll see you out there on the net. Thanks for watching.